Kibare Town Council in Namtumba District was the place to be, as the Kagwa family of the Vice Kisui clan held a thanksgiving service. The message of the day was in line with the theme of the occasion. Emmanuel Olupot was the Reverend Father who emphasized unity for development. No sooner had the mass ended than the process of electing a nuclear person of the Baisakisui clan was conducted. <laughs> this was at the residence of UBC's Director of Finance and Administration, Dr. Peter Kagua, the latter, who had acted in the position for five years, emerged victorious without contest. <laughs> He was elected alongside other council members with a promise to build on the already established foundation. I think I have a date to the people of the Jikang Legacy clan, the clan of Waisichui, to actually offer my service for some time so that they can realize what they think is what is going to take them forward. The election to this position comes with the responsibility of bringing clan members together for development. We were told things that are upright for a, a, a citizen or for a child to be a good citizen. And this is what we charge you. So those values and principles that they taught us is what has caused the unity. And this is what we are selling to other families within the clan. The culture tries to build up the people to see that they can take up agriculture, not as something small, but as a business, and at the same time as a source of, of income, as and also food security, to see that they can be secure and to, 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 to end up this malnutrition, which can just prevail in the homes. They both agree with the President Yoweri Museveni's gospel against land fragmentation. He told us not to demarcate land. If you have land that is not reasonable enough in terms of hectares or acreage, what you do, you use it communally. Don't sell it, don't demarcate it, just do your projects there, get the incomes is what you share. And this is what we are doing. We are trying to renovate the, uh, the mindset of the people. See that as a family, let it have that chunk of land and be using it according to how one can access it so that they do the fragmentation. Because again, what is in fragmentation is that someone with a small issue can easily send, send it out. Such reunions they say will also avoid incest caused by intermarriages amongst clan members. The relatives, the lineage in that particular clan can know each other so that there is no crossing whereby a child can be married to another child or a child of the, of the, of the girl can be carried to the, uh, to the child of the, of, the, of the brother. So that they can know that the people who are born within the Vice Street clan are brothers and sisters. They cannot marry each other. It is abominable. But uh, this has taken us far. Ever since now we started this kind of uh, we have not gotten so far a case. That means we are succeeding in our endeavor. For now, it remains a good gesture for purposes of development following the formation of the new clan circle. But we are going to start income generating projects and as a result, we have uh, already started a, a, a Jikangrega saving scheme which we have started with the 5 million and you saw that everyone will come with it. Whereby resources have to be pulled together. 
we shall not end on pulling resources together. People that are going to benefit out of this money will have to be trained. The Baise Kisui are members of one of the clans in Busogasa region whose efforts can be emulated by other clans to fight poverty. Henry Okrut, UBC.